There he is. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Oh man, that's a good one. It is a beautiful September day in Northeast Ohio on the Cuyahoga River. And we are gonna be doing all fly fishing for smallmouth bass. See what we can get. The sun's peeking out. It's a little overcast, but it's gorgeous. I've got my eight weight rod. We're gonna be throwing all woolly buggers today. We're gonna be hitting some smallmouth bassy spots and, and see what we can get. So it's gonna be fun. It's a beautiful day. Let's get fishing. All right, so the way that I'm fishing this is that I'm just staying a little bit offshore. I'm casting to the bank and uh, letting it sink a little bit. I have a weight on this also. So I'm letting the, letting the woolly bugger kind of sit a little bit. Let's see if you can get as close to the bank as possible. That's kind of where they like sitting. Right up in these rocks. There we go, I'm hooked up. That's a nice fish right there. Nice smallie. There we go. Nice smallie. I'm gonna go ahead and get him on the rod. I mean, he hit nice. Oh yeah. Even on an eight weight, this thing is pulling like a, like a machine. There we go. Fly rod, Smalley, Cuyahoga River. Let me see if I can get over here because I don't want to waste too much of my, oh wow, that's a nice one. That's a really nice fish. That's one of my nicer Smalley. Smalley's, oh man, what a beauty. Oh, this is always a pain in the butt. Let's see if I can. There we go. On the woolly bugger. He liked that woolly bugger. What a beauty. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. You can't, it does not get better than that. On the olive woolly bugger. It's almost like a shiner pattern. Oh my gosh. Beautiful fish. Let's get the release. Anyone that's ever rafted or canoed or kayaked the Cuyahoga knows of the smell. For me, I love it. I, I think it's such a unique smell. And sometimes you gotta throw the, throw the anchor down. Hopefully it slows us down a little bit. Fish this shoreline. Ooh, there's one. Yep, small one. Oh, he's getting airborne. Let's see if I can get him on the... God, my anchor's not slowing me down enough. There he is, though. Yeah, right after that current. They're loving this woolly bugger. There he is. Not as big as the other one. Oh, there we go. On the woolly bugger. Beautiful fish. Look at that little guy. Beautiful, pristine-looking smallmouth. Oh! Flips off, and off he goes. I kinda wanna hit this back water right up in here. I really wanna get underneath that tree. It's just that there's a lot of leaves underneath that sycamore. There he is, yep, small one. There he is though. They're sitting, ooh, he's a little guy. I knew they were gonna be sitting back up in there. There we go. Not a huge one, but super pretty. Oh my gosh, this one might be the prettiest one yet. Again on that olive woolly bugger. Really pretty one. Oh, he flips right away. That's all right. We got a good shot. Oh, it's getting to be fall time. Look at these leaves, they're starting to fall. The sycamores are starting to change. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. Got a nice breeze. So this bridge right here is the Route 82 bridge. Big bridge, pretty iconic in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park and on the Cuyahoga River. And coming up right here where these rapids are used to be the Route 82 dam. So there used to be a dam here. 
they took out this dam now the river is a little bit more free flowing dams can be a pretty bad obstacle for fish and they take them out to help fish passage so now hopefully fish can freely swim up and down the stream a little bit better see if we can hit this oh it's a little wonky Ooh, there we go yep so the dam used to be right here there is no longer a dam there um, and fish can kind of go and swim anywhere they want it's kind of a nice little riffle area right now so pretty cool i mean there's the big bridge Ooh, there's one yep that's a good one. Oh my lord yeah it's a good one sitting on that log he was just sitting on that log oh man that is a good one man i was kind of half not paying attention oh this is a good one this is a good smallie he was kind of in that slacker water let's see if we can get him Oh, he's not ready yet. Really nice fish. Yeah, it's a good one. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if I can, that's never a good idea to go like that. Graham, what are you doing? Oh, this one has like almost like a blue tint to it. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. See you, bud. That was awesome. Ah, oh, it's it a little shallow right here. Let's see if we could walk it a little. All right, let's see if we can get back on this thing. The sun's peeking out too. It's a beautiful day. This might be a little interesting with this down tree coming up. Oh gosh, here we go. And we're gonna take it slow, just nice and slow. Oh, that's, oh, I had to do a limbo. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. There he is. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh man, that was cool. Yeah, so on that bite, I was watching, I was watching the end of my fly line and it just went the a complete opposite way. Oh man, he got even a nice little jump out of it. That was cool. Sitting by that big rock. They like them rocks. See if we can get them on. There we go. Gosh, do I love smallmouth. This is a good fish. Woo, he's getting, he's getting sporty. There we go. On the woolly bugger. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, what a beautiful fish. Oh yeah, nice fish, beautiful colors on them. Beautiful fish. There he is, oh, that's a good one. Oh my Lord. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, he popped off. Oh, oh no. Oh, Graham, you didn't set the hook. Oh God, that was a good fish. That was the fish of the day. Oh my Lord. There he is. Oh man, come on. Not the biggest one, but 
to hit it as soon as it hit those rocks. There we go. On the woolly bugger. Woo! Woo! Oh, that one got me good. Yep, that's gonna be a little cold. That is a downfall of having a pontoon is that you do get a little wet. There he is. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Nice. I was slacking on this one too. I don't want to lose too much ground, so I'm gonna back up. There we go. Real close to the shore, right along those rocks. Oh, yeah, pretty, pretty fish. There we go, it's a good one. It's a really nice fish. Might be the fish of the day. Let's see if we can get him on the... Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, it's a great fish. On the brown woolly bugger. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. Right behind these. Oh my gosh, it's a bald eagle. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. That is beautiful. Wow. There he goes. I hope you could see that. Whoa. And he's going and going and going. There we go, that's a good one. Oh my lord! Jeez! That's a good fish. That's a really good one. Jeez, he was all up in here. Oh man. Let's see if we can get him on the... Holy moly. He's going everywhere. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh my lord, that is a beautiful, beautiful one. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful fish. Woo. See you bud. Gorgeous fish. Oh, look at them. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mergansers. Woo, don't fly, don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. And there they go. Beautiful day on the water. Caught a decent amount of fish all on the fly. The woolly bugger really just absolutely killed the fish today. I really like fly fishing because it's super active. Um, I'm always moving the whole time, keeping busy. And man, when you get that bite, it's just, there's nothing like it. So give fly fishing a try. It's a lot of fun and it definitely challenges you. It keeps you active and it's a good time, but it can be super effective also, especially for these creek smallmouth and river smallmouth. So thank you so much and tune in next time. Bye. Bye, Reese.